Warning, this is a pest control video and contains footage of animals being shot. If this is likely to offend, then please don't watch. Please see the description below for more information on this video. There's also some links you may find useful. Back over one of my favourite shoots, one of my more taxing ones. I've shifted this huge plank of wood here out of the way, just shifted across to the right hand side so I can get access to the edge of the barn here. Try and get some good shots along the side and along the corner. This seems to be here is where most of the activity is. Go around to the opening of the barn. Drop the first rat of the evening with a headshot. Climbing around that hay for the horses and other animals, leaving their dirty wee and dirty poo everywhere. Horrible little things. Quick scan around, see if there's anything else there. Anything else want some lead? That rat's jumping around. I'm happy with that. Looks like it's a good headshot. Although I'm happy with it, I do follow up with an insurance shot. Just because I can. Staying at the entrance of the barn, just having a quick look around, I can hear the rats in the back. There seems to be a lot of activity there later on at night. Just want to have a look around just before I move back around the side, just to see if there's anything else there. Don't want to miss anything. Have a quick look around in the dark, in all the little nooks and crannies. Back at the side of the barn I give the grass a little bit of size 11 boot treatment. So I've cleared the grass out so I can see this clear space here and this clear space here. These are the gaps in between the pallets. This is where most of the activity is, where most of the rats pop out to say hello. I hear some movement to the right hand side and as I turn around I spot this pair of eyes looking at me in the dark. So I slam a pallet right between them. Go for a second shot just to make sure he's dead, but he kicks himself underneath the container. I head across there, clear marking of blood and the rats lying underneath. Pulled him out and you can see exactly where the pellets landed. Quite a big chap, I can see that's a size 11, so he's quite a chunky fellow there. A nosy neighbour. Gets shot in the chest. He pulled himself back underneath, but unfortunately I couldn't retrieve this one. He fell back down into his hole. Another look under the container, and then scan along the edge of it, under the barn, and back to the corner. Make sure nothing snuck out without me seeing it. Not only do rats carry and spread diseases which can affect livestock and humans, but they also cause a whole load of damage and can be very costly to farmers. As you can see here, chewed straight through the bags, contents spilled everywhere. This looked like a rat in the NV unit out in the field. Don't think it is. Don't know what it is. Any suggestions? Back over by the corner, there's a waiting rat there. And he gets a 177 pellet straight in the head. Nice centered shot. Toes up time for him as well. He looks like he's right on the edge of the barn and he's actually further under. He's about eight or nine inches underneath. It's quite deceiving looking at it in infrared. But you can see there he's quite a way under there, hiding underneath the pallets where he thinks he's safe. Coming up from the holes in the ground. Shot him straight in the face, up through into the head. Three recovered, five shot. Unfortunately, one of the shots weren't recorded on the NV unit, but that's another five rats wrapped up for the evening. And there's the three on the bonfire. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. <laughs>